Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, let's uh, resume from the last class for Oracle Sourcing Fundamentals. What I'm trying to do out here is to create a few more requisitions. So I'll again demonstrate to you how to create a requisition in I procurement. All right. So what I'll do it is I will jump on to I procurement and show you how to create a requisition and get it approved. All right, so I will log in as a user called as Catherine Baker. And now I will navigate to responsibility called I procurement. Here I will create an I procurement uh, requisition, a couple of lines. We'll use the similar items what we have used it previously. Say five. Say ten. And say twenty. All right, we've got three items. I click on view cart and check out. And if you want to change the quantity, you can do that here, but I don't want to do that. So I'll simply go ahead for check out. Now these details are optional, so I'll just skip this step. I don't have a project number and I don't want to associate this requisition to a project at the moment. So I simply hit on the next button. All right, so this user doesn't have to go with any approvals because it's a super user and has got a higher approval limit. So, which is good, we don't have to go with uh, any other approvals. Simply hit the next button. And you can view all the details correctly out here. And then hit the submit button to have a requisition created. Alright, so that's the requisition which just got created, 14304. Now what we'll do it is we go back to the requisition form and see whether we can see it over there. So here is the requisition form, 13404. Just click on that just to make sure. Yes, that's the one which we created with a quantity of 5, 10 and 20. and go back to the requisition pool. Now let me just go back to the presentation where we were. So what we have done just now is to create a requisition and to approve it in Oracle I procurement. We have used the role of a requisitioner with a very simple two-step process. All right, so as far as the next class is concerned, I will be demonstrating you the demand workbench in Oracle sourcing. And the topics to be covered in that class includes collating multiple requisition lines in one RFQ, defining type of negotiation, understanding the negotiation outcomes, and updating a document builder, including grouping by requisition. So that's all for the moment. And uh, I will catch you later in the next class. See you then. Goodbye.